bring in Mark Zandi. He's the chief economist at Moody's Analytics. Mark, it's great to have you. And, you know, at this point, the Fed has to do more than it signals if it wants to bring that inflation expectations measure down. Not stupid enough. Well, to Kelly, that. I think uh, partly because of the higher oil prices. I mean, there's a strong relationship between inflation expectations, certainly consumer inflation expectations, but also investor inflation expectations. Uh, I think you're referring to like the five-year break because even everyone who inflation in expectations. They're up. Uh, uh, they're very highly correlated to oil prices. And if oil prices come back in, uh, which I would expect as the Russian-Ukraine uh, events start to uh, wind down going forward, hopefully that'll happen, uh, we'll see those inflation expectations come back in as well. So I'm not overly concerned at this point. Now, if they, they remain persistent, uh, if we stay above three, even though oil prices are coming in and you know the uh, supply-side disruptions related to the pandemic start to evade, global supply chains start to perform a little bit better and inflation comes in, then, then that's a problem. And then I do think the Fed would step on the brakes harder uh, because at the end of the day, they, they work really hard to gain the credibility they have around that 2% inflation target. They're not going to give that up easily. And I'm glad Steve played Powell's exchange with Shelby there, which was quite strong. I mean, it almost seemed as if he he not only took the point about Volcker, but really wanted to make the point, Powell did, that he will do whatever it takes. What does that tell you? Yeah, I, I, I think he's sending a very clear, uh, crystal clear, strong signal that, hey, look, we have a 2% target. That's where we've been. That's where we are. That's where we're going to stay. And we're going to do everything that's necessary uh, to get us there as fast as possible. Now, you know, clearly, you've got all these things going on with the pandemic and the supply side disruptions in Russia and Ukraine. And it's going to take a bit of time to get things back down to target. But we are going back to target. And cement down those inflation expectations because then it will be, make it a lot easier to actually get inflation down to the target. You know, some are asking, Mark, what's the big deal if inflation is 3% or 3.1% or 3.2% over the next five years? What would you tell them? Well, that, that presupposes that the Fed can calibrate things exactly right. But and if we're headed towards three and inflation expectations are going to three, very unlikely that's where it all stops. And we're going to blow right past that. And then we're going to be looking at four or five, six, seven percent inflation. We get into that kind of dreaded wage price spiral that really infected the economy back in the 70s and 80s that Paul Volcker had to bring out with very high interest rates and obviously a very, very severe recession. So, uh, you know, 3% if you kind of land the plane right there and it stays there, okay, maybe, that's a reasonable debate. But that's not what's going to happen. We're going to go right past that. And that's what the Fed does not want to see happen. You know, I understand the concern about the wage price spiral, but you have to have the dry powder, so to speak, to support that, right? You know, if you don't have an expanding monetary base or an expanding, you know, you can only grow wages so much before people have to say, you know what, then we're laying off workers or we can't hire or, the, or we reach this resistance point in the economy. What is the dry powder that could allow this to just keep going and building on top of itself? Well, I mean, the economy is growing. I mean, we're growing, you know, year over year, real GDP growth is 4%. The economy is creating a half a million jobs I have my own. every month. Unemployment so it becomes this interview. I'll uh, cut you up with what sets you'll need to look at what you need. Now, there will be a point when that starts to cut back into that thing where and in a, how long, you know, a player be in a simpler role that can cover it for longer on a multi-metric. So this economy can grow along here you know, pretty quickly, and we can blow, you know, right now the economy, mm, I don't be hard for a point, we've got some there. latitude there, but we will blow past it, and if we do, then inflation will become, you know, an endemic problem, more of an issue, and the Fed will have to press on the brakes even harder. Shepard Smith here, thanks for watching CNBC.